Coming up on the Buzz Bubble, Jeff Goodby. First thing I want to do is congratulate you on Agency of the Decade. This is what happens when you get really old. You have to be around for a long time, right. at least 10 years. The holiday wrap and how that came about. Did you have any uh, hesitations about jumping in and doing that? No, I didn't. I didn't. You know, we've got a guy here, Andrew Bancroft. He's this angry donut. Before Christmas, I said to him, you know, it would be really fun to do like some kind of a Smackdown kind of thing, you and me. And I think he was like, oh my God, this is my worst nightmare. My career is fucked. You wear a donut suit and you think that's smart? Every joke you've ever written ends in a fart. What? You're not the only generation that can write copy. In fact, you're so sloppy. Uh, I'm versed in the classics and literary theories. You think great books means the Twilight series. Well, your ponytail belongs back in Woodstock. You try to use a teenager slang, but you should stop. It kind of implicitly turns the thing into a joke. You don't have to ask about Got Milk. Aaron Burr commercial, which won an award. Did it got put in the Hall of Fame. It was very nice. It's a tough one. Who shot Alexander Hamilton in that famous duel? All right, let's go to the phones and see who's out there. Hello? Hello, for $10,000, who shot... Aaron Burr. Excuse me? Aaron Burr. Hold on, hold on, let me get some milk. No! Got milk. Yeah, there are probably lots of different stories about how that came about. My version of it, okay. which I think is definitive. <laughs> They're a good focus group, the wife and the kids. And the people here are unhappy that I use my children as a focus group, but you know, I try to only use them like to see whether they understand the thing or not. So you've yeah. sent it back to planning if it just wouldn't execute. Yeah, yeah, and I think the planners are, you know, not always understanding, but for the most part. Creatives have to deal with rejection. They should too. All the time. <laughs> it's the biggest thing you deal with as a creative is right. rejection. You get rejected, you know, every day. You guys have done in the viral vein. Uh, Hotel 66 was amazing. And what are your thoughts on, first of all, social networking being called social media? Well, you know, social networking is really just a way of putting a whole bunch of match heads together and lighting them on fire and they all go up at once. And, you know, that wasn't possible before which is really, it's really a cool thing that we can do that. There still has to be a great idea at the bottom of it. Everything scarier at night. This nightmare is personal. Hotel 626 uses your webcam to sneak a picture of you and shows it to you later in a serial killer's lair. Your one salvation is a phone call on your actual cell phone. Then quick, head down the hallway, turn right. After you've made it out of Hotel 626, you get a call on your cell phone. Like all good horror, it reminds you that just when you think the scare is over, it's back. You made it out, but we'll see you again. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty immersive. Art and copy, how you felt about taking your place on film and the history of advertising? What? I said a lot of smart stuff. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but that movie actually did, a, I think, a terrific job of using the best things that people said. What a great context for people that might go into the business, you know? Plus, the, you know, the crazy George Lois shit with him screaming. That was great. Yeah. It's great. Oh, the best ideas we've had around here in the last few years didn't necessarily come from the, the Bill Burnbach system of two people together in a room. You know, many times it's like six people together in a room now, or three or four people in the digital side of, of, of the thing that are, that are more digitally literate coming and saying, you know, you can do this now and other people going, really, that's exciting. You and Alex Bogusky had gotten together to uh kind of put together and judge the Small Agency Awards last year. How did that come about? It came about largely because we were bitching, I think, in, in, with independently to ad age uh, editors about the like, coverage that small agencies get. I don't think that small agencies get the kind of quick coverage that we got in 1989. We were like Agency of the Year and ad age in 89 and we had 50 people. And I said to him, that would never happen now. Uh, what's your favorite compound curse? What, what, yeah, what other one is there? <laughs> That's perfect. Next week, Jeff Goodby on the Buzz Bubble.